it's time to make a graph. So here's your x-axis. We're going to select the values here. If you press control and you select all the values for the average, that's good. You have the tab insert. You have different options for the graphs. We're going to go for scatter plot because it's over time. I'm going to go for a line. Can it, I can join those points. And here's the graph. We have to do a bit of editing because it's not really good. The first thing we could do is actually get rid of those lines here. Click once, delete. It would be nice to see the standard deviation on your graph. So if you click on the line, it's going to be highlighted. If you click outside of your graph and you come back in, you see those three tabs coming up. So again, I'm going to click on my line. I'm going to click on the second, second tab. Here you have error bar. Click the last option and you have a new window. Just click the last option, personalize, specify a value, and we're going to give the value from our table all the STDs and go for the negative value. Same thing, select all the STD. Up, it's good. If you click on the graph, anywhere on the graph, now you see the standard deviation on the graph. That's good. The caption here is not really useful for us at this point. Uh, we seem to have a problem with the x-axis. If I click on it once, and I'm going to do a right click, oh, there's a problem here, close, I'm going to do a right click, I'm going to do the last option here. It seems that he's starting the, the, the minimum value starts at minus 200. I'm just going to click fix, I'm going to put zero, and that should sort it out, that's good would be nice to label your x-axis. So again, if you go at this position, you have title of your axis here. We're going to go for the uh, horizontal. Just underneath, it's easy. I've put it here. It's the time. I'm going to copy. I'm going to replace this. Control V. And here's the, the title labeled sorry, the title of your x-axis with the error. Let's do the same thing for the y-axis. So once again, I'm going to go on that tab here. I'm going to look for the axis. This time I'm going to look for the vertical one. I'm going to make sure it's horizontal. Here's the title. It's the volume of apple juice with the uncertainty. I'm going to do Control c Go on my graph again. Do a Control a for select all. Control v here it is, I have the title, this is good. The number of decimals are uh, corresponding to my error. Here it's good. I'm just going to Control C, copy the graph, go on my lab report. Here again, I label the graph, graph number one, I give it a title, and I'm going to do Control V. And here's, I can center the graph, and here's my graph. For